So Joker 2, Folia Do by director Todd Phillips. Let me just say one thing right here, right now, is that there is a reason, there is a real reason why the Hangover sequels got worse with each and every one. They were also created by Todd Phillips, the same exact guy that made Joker 2, starring both Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix. Now, we already know that this movie is set to become one of the biggest disasters of 2024. Whether or not that's going to lead to it becoming a box office flop, we'll have to wait and see. But there's been a lot of things going on with this movie, and we talked about this briefly a couple of months ago. There was a lot of back and forth scenarios by Warner Brothers executives and everything else going on with revisions being applied to this movie. And basically, that led to a disastrous ending of Joker 2. We'll have a lot more to talk about that in the coming days when we will talk more about spoilers, but it is a slap in the face to DC fans, no doubt about it. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So we know that this movie in particular has a lot of issues going on with it. Not only do a lot of people out there despise the fact that it is somewhat of a musical, so to speak, but the ending is going to be the deal breaker with this movie. I almost can guarantee you all of that. Now, focusing on Robert De Niro, all right? Now, granted that he's not an actual major player in this movie, nor is he a major cameo in this film, but he does have a lot of issues with the ongoing backlash already by, of course, fans of the DC Universe or just flat-out fans of the first Joker film or the Joker character. This is where things begin to get very interesting. Now, with Warner Brothers now gearing up for the release of Joker 2, starring both Phoenix and Gaga, one monumental development going on currently involves the growing backlash from fans of the Joker based on the ending and the, and the nature of the film by Todd Phillips. Now, recently, actor Robert De Niro had a massive meltdown over the Joker 2 backlash, as well as what happens in the film after Warner Brothers went through a major revision before releasing the film. Now, it turns out that De Niro had shot scenes, believe it or not, for the sequel as Murray Franklin, where De Niro was going to appear multiple times in the sequel as a tribute to the death of the talk show host. These scenes that were shot were initially promised to be in the film's first act as part of the major opening of the film, and that they were going to be very extended to pay tribute to his character Murray. Now, Todd Phillips decided to delete the scenes at last minute, and it created outrage between De Niro and Todd Phillips over the changes applied to the film. Also, De Niro already is beginning to blame toxic fans for creating unnecessary outrage and noise against the Joker sequel, and is beginning to get very defensive against a Warner Brothers brand that he starred in. The reason why De Niro is having a very hard time coping with the growing backlash over this film in particular is that he is already beginning to blame Warner Brothers for creating an unnecessary sequel that applied some of the most divisive elements in the film, especially the ending and how it goes back to his filmography. It turns out both De Niro and Todd Phillips have a grudge with each other after the sequel erased all of De Niro's scenes in the beginning of the film that was going to that, that was actually going to pay a special tribute to his character and how his character was originally planned to play an integral role in the evolution of the Joker character Arthur. Now about his scenes, a lot of them were going to be on television in actual restaurants and bars as people would actually be watching his character on screen. In addition to all of this, De Niro recently already went on a rant with the Warner Brothers executives and Todd Phillips over deleting his scenes and is demanding them to let them be seen to the public in the coming months once this film goes digital. Now, Warner Brothers reportedly is refusing to do so, and this is creating issues behind the scenes. To make matters worse, De Niro is already p playing the blame game with fans and is preparing to call out the so-called toxic fans on numerous podcasts and radio show hosts. But their view, of course, of Joker 2 and how disastrous of an ending it's going to have and the execution of the film is what's bothering Robert De Niro right now. Now guys, let me just stop here and say one thing about this. Now, we know that De Niro is already getting very defensive over the Joker sequel, Folly Ado. We know that this movie is not just a musical, but it's also going to backtrack to his filmography that he's blaming already on not just the Warner Brothers executives, 
but also on the quote-unquote toxic fans. And he is basically doubling down to basically come out with multiple statements against the fans of the first Joker film, fans of the Joker character in general, or just fans of the Batman universe, whatever Batman universe that you enjoy. This is obviously a growing issue by Todd Phillips. It's a growing issue by the media who really are defending this movie at all costs available. They want to actually make sure that they are able to make this movie happen and work out. It's not even working for the critics. It's already in the 40%-ish range on Rotten Tomatoes by the critics, mind you, and that's by the critics. Not a good scene there. So, with this movie, and we already talked about this briefly on Twitter, having a very controversial ending that's not only a slap in the face to fans of the Joker character, but it's also, and more importantly, a big slap in the face to people that may have actually loved the first Joker film. Now look, I will be very honest with you guys, I was not a fan of the first Joker movie. It just seemed like that they took an actual idea of a movie in isolation, and just slap the name Joker on there and threw in a couple of character character cameos here and there that kind of connects it to the Batman universe or the Batman lore, so to speak. And Todd Phillips was very open about this, that he basically wanted to make it a film of his own, but just using the Joker character and the Joker name to kind of market this movie in a more, you know, uh, valuable fashion, so to speak. But this is where things get interesting more so, is that on top of this, all right, the struggles between De Niro, Warner Brothers, and Todd Phillips continue in the midst of the Joker 2 backlash, set to be one of the largest failures of 24. Whether or not this will lead to it becoming a box office flop, only time will tell, as it is a very divisive film, not just for the first film, but to the Joker character himself that spans decades. Now, Warner Brothers is already trying to prevent De Niro from making those public statements about the Joker 2 backlash and the fans going against the movie already after witnessing the ending of the film that taints De Niro's filmography in his eyes. Now look, uh, whether or not you saw the first Joker film, De Niro does play somewhat of a side role in that movie and really does you know, uh, pay to the evolution of Arthur at the very end of the film, and we all know why. Now, the fact that he was going to have some kind of a role in the beginning of this movie, and that got axed, and that created a large divide between himself, Todd Phillips, and Warner Brothers executives. Look, Warner Brothers is not having a good 2024 already. They're most certainly not going to have a good 2025 year with the upcoming Minecraft movie, which is already getting a lot of flack by Minecraft fans, and that's a whole other story that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks now as well. But this movie in isolation, it's not looking good at all. It's a musical, something a lot of fans are already rejecting. Uh, it's a movie that really kind of, really just slaps people in the face if you like the first Joker film, if you like the character The Joker in general by Heath Ledger by, of course, other actors that played the role over decades upon decades, Jack Nicholson, I mean, how can you not forget him? How can you forget him? But overall, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.